Terry, are you a video gamer, game boy, or game man? You are? Well, then you probably want to know how to broadcast your video games to an audience of viewers. Luckily for you, the Yogscast Online Game Streaming Educational Department is here to help. You only need two things. Number A, you require the streamer gene. The streamer gene is a well-documented biological phenomenon studied by internet scientists since the early 17th century. For hundreds of years, people who sat alone in a room and talked to themselves were branded as loonies, silly billies, mush brain psychotics. Today, thanks to modern science, we know these silly billies were actually born with the streamer gene a unique genetic advantage that allows one to talk for hours while being completely alone in a room. Do you have the streamer gene, Terry? Wonderful! The second thing you'll need is five more things. Let's get them now. First things first, you need a personal computing device. What's that? Is that a personal computing device right there? Things are going great. But wait! Does this look like an ideal location from which to broadcast your video games? Wrong, Terry, you silly boy. You need access to electricity. Do you have that here? Take that personal computing device indoors and find an electricity hole. That's more like it, Terry, my dear boy. Now you must connect to the World Conglomerate of Connected Information Technology Devices, or Internet. Internet. You can do this one of two ways, either with a wire from your router, or by connecting wirelessly to a Wi-Fi network. No, Terry. Once connected, you must create an account with a popular live streaming platform of your choice. We are going to use https colon slash slash www full stop twitch full stop television. Create a catchy username and strong password. You're doing great, Terry. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now you must find a way to send your video gameplay to viewers in a video format. To accomplish this task, we're going to need to use something technical called a streaming software. There are many to choose from, but today we will be using Open Broadcast Software, or OBS for short. Navigate to their website and download the software. It's free to use, so it's the perfect choice for someone like Terry. Once you are running your broadcasting software, you can add video sources to your project. Terry, add your game capture. What you see with your eyeballs in the preview window is what your audience will see with their eyeballs. Terry, would you like the world to hear your beautiful face and see your majestic voice? Well, don't fret, that's just as easy. Take your webular camera and place it on an e-sled. Transport the camera to the monitor's base. Now, attach it to the uppermost ridge of the screen.
Once complete, you must enmesh your Webular Camera's Umexatron Strimonium Bezel Plate or USB cable to the computer's electro flap. Next, add it to your project in the same way as what that we did earlier with your game capture. Next, plug in a voice stick or microscopic phone. And add it as an audio device in your project settings. That's the ticket, Terry! Now it looks like you're good to go. Finally, we need to tell your broadcasting software which channel to broadcast to. On the website of your preferred streaming platform, you will want to navigate to the dashboard and enter a title for your broadcast. You will also want to tell it what game you will be playing so that viewers can find you easily. That's it, Terry. All that's left for you to do is press the Start Streaming button and go live to the world. PC, electricity, internet, platform, OBS, ocular and audio equipment. Start streaming. All of these steps can be easily remembered via the acronym PPOOS. Just remember your peepoos, Terry, and you'll be a famous internet star in no time. And remember me when you're famous. We all know someone who's been affected by cancer, and now it's time to beat cancer at its own game. Take on a gaming challenge to raise money for Stand Up To Cancer's fortnight of fundraising. Every pound you raise helps fund life-saving cancer research.